Good morning, this is Pastor Brian White, and I want to thank you for joining us this morning for our morning prayer. This morning, I'll be reading from Deuteronomy chapter 26, verses 1 through 7, and, and then uh, we will have a time of prayer. Uh, in Deuteronomy 26, it says, when you have come into the land that the Lord your God has given you as an inheritance to possess, and you possessed it and settle in it, you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground, which you harvest from the land that the Lord your God has given you, and you shall put it in a basket and go to the place that the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for his name. You shall go to the priest who is in office at that time and say to him, today I declare to the Lord your God that I have come into the land that the Lord swore to our ancestors to give us. When the priest takes the basket from your hand and sets it down before the altar of the Lord, your God, you shall make this response before the Lord your God. A wandering Aramean was my ancestor. He went down into Egypt and lived there as an alien, few in number, and there he became a great nation, a mighty and populous. When the Egyptians treated us harshly and afflicted us by imposing hard labor on us, we cried to the Lord, the God of our ancestors. The Lord heard our voice and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. Let us pray. God most high, thank you for signs of your power and grace shown to us even in the wilderness. Give us courage to stand firm in your word in every time of trial and testing, that we may enter the land of your freedom and receive the salvation you so generously give. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. These Lenten days will take us to the cross of Christ. Go forward knowing that you do not go this way alone, nor do we have to be afraid, for the word of God strengthens us and the Holy Spirit sustains us. Now may the God of the Exodus lead us into freedom. May the Holy Spirit bind us to God's will, and may Christ, God's only Son, show us the way of true justice and peace. Amen. <laughs> 